Hello and welcome to the audio, video and photography channel where I cover all things relating to, you've guessed it, music production, video production and stills photography. Today I'm taking a look at the Heil PL2T microphone desk boom arm which I've got right here. So there's not going to be an awful lot to say about this, it comes in at about £120. I'm going to first go through the good and then I'll put the negatives in at the end. So the good, I like the overall build quality of this design. It's really tough and rugged and it should last quite a long time. Um, I like the fact that it's got these plastic cable covers at the top that you can run the cable under. And um, I also like the fact that you can change the mic position from upright like this. You can just loosen this bit and spin the microphone upside down. So if you want to have this higher, you can just loosen this and drop the mic so it hands, hangs down from below. Um, so that's the good bits. The negatives are it doesn't come forward enough. So basically it goes back a long way, but when you pull it forward, that arm there kind of stops at this 45 degree angle and that's as far forward as it comes. So that's it, it stops and then you can't actually get the microphone any further. I would have liked this arm here to have come down a lot more so I could actually pull the microphone further by about another six or seven inches, but for some reason it stops at that angle. Um, that's one negative. Um, another negative is um, it might just be because it's new, but it is quite stiff when you're pulling it around with one hand. And because of that, it actually works loose the desk mount in here. Now, because this is mounted over the edge of the desk instead of directly above it, as you move it around and turn it, that does actually work loose and come loose. You've got to keep tightening it up from underneath. Whereas if this pivot point here was over the top of the desk, directly above the bolt underneath, it would not do that. So that's a little bit of a problem as well. Um, the plastic cable covers here, they do have a tendency to pop out. This is basically just a thin um, USB cable but if I was to have a, a thicker, more substantial XLR cable in here, it doesn't hold them in too well and they do have a tendency to pop out and they don't really snap in with any kind of positivity. They, they do just sort of pop out all the time. Um, when I took delivery of mine also, it was actually slightly bent. When I was looking at it straight on, the microphone was at a bit of an angle like this, so I had to grab it here by this metal bit and actually give it a little bit of a bend over so the microphone sat straight on it. It wasn't my desk because I checked that with uh, a spirit level, so it was ever so slightly bent. It might have just been uh, a slightly dodgy one off the production line, uh, but that was another little gremlin that I had. So um, would I recommend it if it was £60 or maybe £70 at the most? Yes, definitely. But at 120, I feel at that much money for a desk boom arm, well, I for one would expect perfection. And this only gets me about halfway there with regard to perfection. So um, it's kind of half and half. Like I said, it's well built. It should last a long time, but it's not quite perfect. There are a couple of gremlins with this microphone boom arm. Um, that's it. I'm Nigel Cooper. You've been watching the audio, video and photography channel. Thanks for stopping by. And as usual, Hope to see you again real soon.